Our next feature is hiding columns in tables. So within the table visualization type, you can add, you can include columns in the visual, but hide them from the actual display. So why would I want to do this? So the, the biggest reason that I want to do this is there might be a column that I want to use in a URL action, but it's kind of a cryptic ID and it's something that I don't necessarily want to show to the users. So I want to hide that column, but I still need it as part of the visual so that I can use it in the URL action. That's a very common reason to do this. So for an example of opening a Salesforce page via the URL action, I could include that Salesforce ID, hide the column. So I'm maybe just showing the account name or the contact name. Uh, but when I click on that row, I actually use the ID column, which is hidden to go launch that URL. So let's look at how this one works. So here on my table visualization, on any one of the columns I have in my table here, I can click on the headers and choose to hide that column. So you may be asking, how do I get that column back if I wanted to, if the header is not there? So if you go to the same column up here in your field wells, you can either show that one column or show all the columns that you had hidden. Now, similarly, you could also hide the column directly from the field well uh, as well, instead of doing it from the visual. So again, the common use case for this is maybe I will have an ID column that I want to use in a URL action, but I don't want to have to show it to the users. So like my ID column is an example, I'm going to hide that one. But if I go to add a URL action here, we'll see that that order ID column is still available to me as I start to build out this, build out this URL action.